More than a decade had passed after India's independence. The small yet beautiful growing town of Barhampur was molding itself into a peaceful, hospitable and culturally strong capital of the erstwhile Nawabi district of Murshidabad, West Bengal. However, the one thing that was turning out to be a serious drawback of the place was its absence of quality English medium schools. Times were changing fast and the parents of the town were forced to send their children to far off places in pursuit of good English medium schooling. In Krishnanagar, during the same period, a person from a foreign land had established himself as someone who is more than a son of the soil. He was the most renowned late Bishop Louis Larivoire Moro. He was doing exemplary work in not only Krishnanagar but in many other places. His work brought him to Barhampur too and during one such tour a group of curious and prominent citizens of Barhampur urged him earnestly to do something for the education sector. Thus was born Mary Immaculate School on 15th January 1962 under the ages and vision of the luminary late Bishop L. R. Morrow. In the very beginning, after Father Founder, L. R. Morrow had laid the foundation stone of the school, four sisters, namely Sister Theres, late Sister Irene, Sister Zita and Sister Lolita were sent to Berhampur to expedite the proceedings. The sisters, who were specially trained in the Montessori system of education, soon made Montessori and primary section functional from 1962. In 1964, Sister Aloysia was appointed as the first headmistress of the institution. Classes continued to increase and as the year 1970 came, Sister Sicily was appointed in her place. Those were the years when MIS made her inroads towards full recognition and affiliation. In 1972, primary section was inspected by late Dr. Austin D'Souza and full recognition was achieved in 1973. In 1977, Anglo-Indian school inspector inspected the high school in view of its recognition. In 1978, MIS obtained the No Objection Certificate from the Educational Department of West Bengal. And finally, the Council for the Indian School Certificate Examination gladly granted the full affiliation to the school. In the same year, the first batch of students appeared for the ICSE examination. In the year 1986, Sister Cecily was transferred. Sister Flora took charge as the new principal. In the very next year, in 1987, the school established its Silver Jubilee and a grand program was organized at Rabindra Sadhan to commemorate the occasion. August 31st, 1987 was one of the saddest days in the history of Mary Immaculate School. The day saw the very sad demise of our beloved father founder, Bishop Morrow. It was the end of a lifetime saga of sacrifice, selfless social work and innumerable charity work. The entire school mourned his death and prayed for his soul. The year 1988 brought some cheer as Mary Immaculate School was blessed with the presence of Nobel Laureate Mother Teresa the mother of the motherless. It was another very noteworthy event in the glorious history of Mary Immaculate School. In the year 1994, the school celebrated the birth centenary of its father founder, Bishop L. R. Morrow, with a lot of pound. The very year, after a lot of positive contribution to the school, Sister Florette was transferred and in came Sister Grace Mary in her place. The year 2000 saw the advent of the new millennium and to work the occasion, 
about 400 poor children and their parents were distributed gifts. However, in the same year, in the month of July, an unexpected sudden health breakdown ailed Sister Grace Mary. She was forced to discontinue as principal for health grounds and Sister Lima Rose was appointed as the fifth principal of the school. As the years rolled by, the coming of 2008 created another landmark as for the first time ISC exams started in the school itself. It further forwarded the dream of late Bishop L. R. Morrow in giving quality English medium education up to the higher secondary level. The school had everything, but one noteworthy absence was that of the past people's association. The year 2011 saw even that absence addressed and with the active cooperation of the sisters of Mary Immaculate and some ex-students an association called MISA was born. It stands for Mary Immaculate School Alumni Association. MISA's website is www.misa.org the advent of the year 2012 saw the appointment of the very able Sister Solly as the new principal. It also marks the completion of 50 glorious years of this iconic institution called Mary Immaculate School. Today, in its 50th year, MIS is at par with any English medium convent school in our country. It has spread its branches in other cities too. Around 2200 students are taught by 60 highly motivated teachers in MIS Burhampur. The school has produced toppers in class 10 and 12 examinations year after year. And Mary Immaculate School pass outs are today spread out around the globe. Special emphasis is given to co-curricular activities like the annual sports meet, scout and guides camps, Eco club activities, inter class and inter house, singing, dancing, quizzing, elocution, debate, mono act play, drawing, extempore, speech, and many more. To instill a serve to spirituality, regular morning and afternoon prayers are held in the school hall. Teachers' Day, Founders' Day, Children's Day, Christmas celebrations, etc., are celebrated to honor the various personalities on whose remembrance the days are earmarked, along with the importance of doing well in all the academic exams. Children are also taught to be generous towards the society. Towards that end, the poor fund and children's day funds that the children collect are spent to help the needy and the suffering. A part of the school earning is also utilized to cater to about 200 poor children in providing education, free book and uniforms. The motto of the school that the father founder, Bishop L. R. Morrow, had envisaged, namely, love, knowledge, service, is thus diligently adhered to day after day. As the school celebrated its golden jubilee, two of our dearest and most efficient principals Sister Cicely and Sister Florette are also completing 50 years of their faithful service. We salute them for having achieved this great milestone. Sister Cicely was also very instrumental towards the formation of MISA, the Past Pupils Association. The school is now happy to announce that it has its own website, namely www.mismsd.org. You can have a look and stay updated on anything concerning Mary Immaculate School. In, In this 50th year, year of its inception, inception the school would finally like to pay tribute to the dear departed sisters, teachers and students. May their soul rest in peace. A word of thanks to the parents, government officials, well-wishers and beneficiaries for their cooperation to the school and all its endeavors. May God continue to bless him, Ayas.